Howdy, pilgrims. I say that because that's something John Wayne would have said. Also because I want to talk about a holiday that's Shakespearean in its history of religious persecution, cultural clashes, and also about our ability to sum it all up with a simple phrase, pass the yams. I'm about to tell you the story of Thanksgiving. What even is Thanksgiving? For some, it's a chance to reflect on their blessings in a way that doesn't involve a brunch selfie or a hashtag. Maybe it's a cautionary tale for flightless birds. Think about it. Two top mascots of Thanksgiving, the turkey and the dead turkey. Learn to fly turkey or else dress formally like a penguin so eating you just seems impolite. To really understand Thanksgiving, we have to go back to the first one or at least that first festival that wasn't really called Thanksgiving, but there's a picture of it. Picture it didn't happen. Like any dysfunctional Thanksgiving meal, there was strife, cultural misunderstandings, and a looming threat of violence. But textbooks, like an irritated parent, have mostly just told us to shut up and eat. So we don't have to explain more stuff to our stupid kids. I'm not talking about yours, but I am talking about yours. A lot of us think it started with the arrival of the Mayflower, but that was preceded by the British explorer ships. I assume they were called the April Shower. They claimed the land for England because the natives didn't have what they considered the proper paperwork. It was a give and take relationship. They took possession of the land and gave the opportunity to eventually be mascots of sports franchises. When the Mayflower settlers landed years later in an abandoned village, they had a fresh water supply, stores of food and fertile farmland, sort of like an Airbnb if you didn't have to get the owner's permission. And also your friends had killed the owners. Because before Starbucks made it about $14 lattes, this is what gentrification looked like. But those Plymouth settlers soon realized they were in way over their heads. The harsh winter and the fact that they were still British almost wiped them out completely. And that's when they encountered the Wampanoag people. Wampanoag in English means you're probably just gonna call us Indians anyway. One Wampanoag named Squanto spoke fluent English and showed the settlers how to plant corn and hunt beaver. Although some of them refused to do the latter based on their strict religious aversion to double entendre. Many consider Squanto a hero for being so crucial to that bountiful harvest because we know that not all heroes wear capes. But back then they had a hard time recognizing that, partly because a lot of people wore capes. But they did celebrate the harvest with a party. They ate things we no longer eat like seal and ugly ducklings. They ate the vegetables they had grown like corn and, well, mostly corn. The pilgrims made cranberry sauce in the shape of a can and had bibs built into their outfits and then ate so much food that they had to remove their belts and wear them on their hats. And of course, nobody's sure if they ate turkey, but I'm 100% sure they did not eat penguin. That would have been absurd. Some traditions live on today, like how the whole festival ended with everybody falling asleep watching a contest between eagles and bears. And maybe it wasn't even considered Thanksgiving at the time. And maybe it was rarely celebrated until it was made official much later due to wars and politicians. And maybe that's why it's customary to go to war over politics with family members during Thanksgiving dinner. But that won't keep your family from hating you. Because despite its problematic past, Thanksgiving is a holiday for coming together, spending time with people you love, and then eating enough food to help you forget that they may not always be people you like. So go back for seconds, even though we all know it's thirds, and fall asleep watching football, because you're gonna need that energy later for when you have to throw punch someone at a Walmart for a $30 TV set. And this Thanksgiving, remember, getting where you are took a little luck and a lot of help. So try to be thankful for both, and no matter what somebody calls corn, try to get along with them anyway. Also, if you're a turkey, get yourself a tux. Bam, you're a penguin. Happy Thanksgiving, America. Mm-hmm.